after months of hype and weeks of worrying about the forecast today, millions of Americans had a chance to see the moon slip between Earth and the sun, temporarily blocking the sunlight. Yeah, even the partial eclipse here was just incredible. All of it an amazing experience. And we have team coverage with students here in our air who got a glimpse of the eclipse. But we're going to begin with NBC4's Belen de Leon, who was in the path of totality in <laughs> Dallas. Hey, B. Hey, Lolita. Hi, Annabelle. You know, the sun is shining brightly again over Dallas, Texas, and everything is back to normal, except that a few hours ago, crowds of people were gathered around the city to experience this once-in-a-lifetime event. And uh, the expectation was high, but it did not disappoint. You know, here at the Perot Museum of Nature and Science, the festivities started early. The crowd started to gather. 7,000 people attended this sold-out event, and there were people from all over the place. I spoke to people from Chile, from Argentina, but something drew me from this one person, Trixie from Jacksonville, Florida. Before the event ever started, uh, she already had me in a good mood and a good vibe. Here's what she had to say. We've started to meet people from other parts of the country, and it's just like connection. That, that to me is the most important piece, the human connection. I know we're seeing something that probably unifies everyone, and I'm hoping that that can become stronger today. So that's my wish. Well, we were gathered all together and also hoping that the weather cooperate, but because leading up to this event, the cloud forecast, well, didn't leave people very hopeful, but we crossed our fingers and guess what? Leading up to totality, the clouds parted and we had that sunshine come out and then slowly we start to notice those differences, the light dimming, the temperature cooling. Um, and then when we reached totality, the crowd cheered with excitement. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody was super excited. It was amazing. So here's what we saw. We saw the sun's corona. We even saw some visible planets in the sky. And when you looked all around you, it was like a 360 degree sunset. So we just admired that. We soaked it all in as much as we could, just admiring the Dallas skyline for about four minutes. And uh, people looked up in awe. That's how long this totality lasted. And when it was all said and done, the lights slowly came back. But uh, people, they were not normal anymore. They had experienced something amazing. So here's what Sherry from Dallas had to say about it. I feel like overall, I feel like I don't think I could ever not unsee that. Like it just was a really beautiful moment. And it really was a good feel good moment to know that this is what is really happening in the world. So it was beautiful. I loved it. Thank you. I couldn't help myself but give her a hug. I feel like we all feel a little bit more connected after that experience. Guys, this is my first time seeing a total solar eclipse, the last one in 2017. I had to work in Denver. My family made it out to Nebraska and they were able to experience it to this day. Uh, it's something that th my husband continues to brag about. And guess what? Now I can brag about it too. So we talk about how it's a once in a lifetime event. This has been a once in a lifetime assignment. I know know that I have just been overcome by the emotion of experiencing this in person. Hopefully you guys one day will experience it too.